okay today's video is about how to set up m2 wear watch so for those asking me how do i set up m2 wear i'm going to show you how you can do that and also i'll share with you how you can set your time on this m2 wear watch how to receive whatsapp messages and how to customize your wallpaper without wasting much of your time let's get down to business okay the first thing to do here is to switch on your bluetooth your data and your location so i'm going to swipe down and switch on my bluetooth my data or wi-fi and my location so once you have done that and switch on these three the whole process will be seamless now the second thing to do here is to scan the qr code that we can see right here so you are going to scan that now as you can see we have our url up here so we are going to select the url so when you select it it's going to take you to another page that you are going to see the m2 wear app this is linking to google play store and the local download which is the apk so you can either go via the google play store which is the way i recommend so we are going to select that and it's going to refer us back to google play store which you can see here so this is the real m2 wear so i'm going to show you something right now so let's minimize this right here on my smartphone you can see two m2 wear app this is the old one and this is the new one this new one is the one that is going to work for you okay so download this real one and now once you have downloaded it before you start the whole process of launching the app please switch on the bluetooth on your m2 wear watch so how do you do that you can go this way swipe up this way you are going to see this bluetooth icon here so select that to make it on so your bluetooth will be turned on right on the watch you can see this bluetooth icon show up so sometimes it may not work that way you may have to go into the settings of the smartwatch if you don't have this kind of option just go to the setting of your smartwatch like this home menu and go to the setting icon and go to the bt settings or the bluetooth settings and when you select that make sure you have your power and visibility of the bluetooth turned on as you can see they are on here and i have my device name as t55 plus the next thing to do here is to open the app real m2 wear app here so right here once you launch your app you are going to see note so you have to agree to the privacy policy and user agreement so you select agree all right another pop-up says allow m2 wear to access your device location you have to select while using the hub and you see another pop-up again that says allow m2 wear to access your physical activities select allow every other pop-up that comes up is just requesting for permission please make sure you select allow to every permission so that you can get access to the app okay so once you have done that you are going to see this come up you are at the home page of the hub here you have to log in with your email address or you use your gmail as you can see you have gmail here and you have a mailbox symbol here so you can use your email and here if you don't want to log in your credentials but you can come down here and select the direct login to log in directly without using your email i'm going to use my gmail so i'm going to select g okay and it's going to bring up my gmail on my smartphone as you can see here so i'm going to select that And now it is sync up and make a new account for me on the m2way app as you can see it says the account has been established so please keep your account and password properly here i have to take a screenshot as recommended so i'm going to take a screenshot right now and select determine please take good care of your account number and password if you lose it you may not be able to retrieve it so let's select determine once again and now you are at the information page this is where you have a generic details here you have to just input your details and edit all these things so let's start with the avatar so i'm going to go to my local album upload from local album and i'm going to pick one picture here so i just want it to come to the surface like this once i'm okay with it i can now select the tick option here and select complete down here once i'm okay then i can now do the way i want it 
I can go sideways or just you know pinch in and out like this anyway I want it so I'm okay like this so I select the tick option once again and the picture is now there at the avatar. so the next one is to pick a nickname if you don't feel all these things it won't go so you have to just fill in all this information so I'm going to pick my own name my nickname is Jaguar so I'm going to pick that and I'm male if you are female you just go to the female option and male here so select determine date of birth I'm going to pick a random date of birth okay so determine make sure you fill in all this proper information so that it will help you during your exercise okay so once you are done with that don't select this imperial if you select this imperial it's going to clear up this height and weight once you are done with all this then select determine up here all right you can see setting success here so now we can now search for our m2 wear watch or t55 watch so i'm going to search for it just to confirm that our bluetooth is still on you are going to search for it try search select yes and let the m2 wear app search for our smartwatch all right you can see t55 plus here so we have our t55 here so you select the t55 and you can see connecting and right on our smartwatch you can see the blue icon you can see the bluetooth icon change to green and here we have are you sure you want to buy this device select ok on the watch ok it says connection field so i'm going to tap on that once again and select ok As you can see, successful connection of equipment. Now it has connected, and right on our smartwatch, you can see the icon has changed to green. Okay, so the next thing to do is to do the data storage. So it is either you pick the cloud storage or the local storage. The cloud storage is to store it in the cloud, and the local storage is to store it in your phone. So it's going to keep all this health and data stuff there in your phone or in the cloud. So here I'm going to pick cloud, and you are going to scroll down a bit and select i have agreed and read the privacy policy tick on that and select determine once again and it's going to take you to the next page which you can see we have a pop-up here it says note please open the notification permission otherwise message push option cannot be used so you select go set and select go set it's going to take you to your notification access make sure you find your m2 where the real one and toggle on the notification access permission for it allow and once you allow it you are going to see it is toggle on and you can now go back to your m 2 wear app right here is where you can confirm that your m 2 wear watch has been connected to your m 2 wear app on your smartphone okay so once it is connected this is the health section here and there you can see my weather and my location okay is all right now the next one here on the dashboard is the data the data is where you can see your exercise and everything you are doing and what is going on between the watch and your body so this is the heart rate blood pressure and others in case you want to check it out all right so here is the workout in case you want to start workout like running like walking like trade meaning like cycling anyone you want to use you can just come here and do that and here is the profile page where you can do the tweaking and do settings to the smartwatch now let's change the time settings in case you have the time and you don't like the time format on it you want to change it to 12 hours or 24 hours here is how to do it so you go to the additional setting and you are going to see 24 hours here so in case you want to change it to 24 hours just toggle it on and it's going to change your watch to 24 hours okay so if you want to change it to 12 hours make sure this option 24 hours is toggle off if it's toggle off like this and you see setting success that means it has changed so that is how to change your time format on m2 wear watch now if you want to get whatsapp messages on your m2 wear app or whatever smartwatch you are using just come here and select message reminder and make sure all these are toggle on most especially the whatsapp reminder option here so once you have done that go to the personal application option here and toggle on m2 wear 
when you toggle it on like this it's going to drop in messages okay so here is the last option that says system application this is for those that knows how this works if you don't know how it works please just don't toggle on anything here you can now go back to the option and let's test if our whatsapp message is going to drop on this smart watch so i'm going to send a message to the smart watch now hello have you subscribed please so here is the message now i'm going to send the message all right so you can see we have our message here that shows the message has entered the smartwatch here is the notification andrew says hello have you subscribed so that is how to get whatsapp messages on your m2 wear smartwatch so i'm going to show you also how to customize the wallpaper in case you want to customize the wallpaper of your m2 wear watch all you have to do is to go to this die setting here which you can see here you can see the die select the die and it's going to show you two options here do it yourself die and local die okay diy means you want to customize it by yourself so you select that and it's going to take you to the diy dial page i'm going to select an image and it's going to take me to the album or my gallery i'm going to select this image here and once i'm okay this is the image i want to use i'm going to select the tick option up here and once i select it i can now select completed down here and now it's going to bring a grid on the picture that i want to use now i can now zoom in or zoom out okay so depending on how i want it i want it to be by the side so that i can put the time here so i want it this way and i like it this way if you are okay and satisfied you can now go to this tick option here and select it when you select it it's going to bring it up like this to confirm that it is okay if you are not okay with it you can select this x option here it's going to go back but i'm going to select this that means i'm okay with it now you can also remove this time and the dates and all this um, step counter here if you want to now if you want to do that you just come here and select step count hide and it's going to remove that and for the date if i want to remove the date i can come here and select hide and it's going to remove the date now i have only the time left if i want to change the time position i can bring it down like this i can put it this way or any way i want it but i prefer it is up here like this okay so i'm satisfied i like it this way so i can select the tick option once again once i'm done i can now change the color of the text if i like i can change it to yellow red blue or whatever color i want but i prefer yellow in this case and once i'm okay with everything i've done here i can select apply once i select apply to start syncing it up to my watch face as you can see there's a logo that I just showed here a symbol of uploading so let's just wait for it to upload it to the m2 wear watch all right you can see sync successfully here that means it is ready and it is up and this is how to customize your m2 wear watch watch face so this looks beautiful right and that is how to do it in case you have any question or issue or any difficulty please let me know down there in the comment section and i'll reply you as soon as possible